Yep. Raining pretty heavily. But at least there's the shelter. It's not that heavy. But uh but the but it's like it's kind of like if you don't have an umbrella then naturally you are gonna get pretty wet but at least there's the shelter so we have the blessing of sheltered walkways practically connecting most um, you know most places to the to the bus stops or the MRT that is the blessing of staying in Singapore you know but then uh, yeah uh, very appreciative for the fact that there are such benefits and all the the taxpayers money is going to kind of at least these things you know so yeah very 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 thankful I didn't really think too much about such stuff but now when I think about it it's like you know Doing a good job, Singapore. Doing a good job.
So, so the current meal is actually the pig trotter. But the pig trotter has a good amount of collagen and at the same time it has lean meat also. So it's not it's not um it's not like you are eating pure fat that that most people think. There's nothing wrong with eating pork. It's just that the parts of the parts that you choose to eat. So in in most Asian cuisine, nobody likes to eat the lean parts of an animal. I think it's very rare. But I think nowadays as you know you learn about nutrition, you just make the better choices. Naturally, there's there's hardly any fat in this piece of meat. Okay? And yes, pigs are naturally more fatty than than um, other animals. I would say that beef can be also more fatty than other animals as well. But it's the parts that you choose. So for example, this this is completely lean, guys. So I'm having it with, um, you know, a good amount of um, uh, shallots, a good amount of um, a good amount of chili, and it's uh, actually with vinegar. So <clears throat> the the whole meal is actually very appetizing. Naturally, the whole idea is to break fast with um, you know the a, a very good choice of food, and it doesn't always have to be polenta, uh, quinoa, um, chicken uh, grilled chicken breast. It's very bland, and I think that's more catered to the Western to European diets. As an Asian, a large part of our foods are with sauce, you know, but there are the the fact that you can of course choose um lower sodium oyster sauce or uh, lower sodium uh soya sauce these are the the better choices and there's no and it's there's nothing wrong with eating salt to be frank as long as you are actually having a very active lifestyle like you you know you go and run you, you you're jogging you're cycling and you're drinking lots of water like at least one to two, at least two gallons of water per day right your salt intake is not going to be a big issue so i think the reason why you know high blood pressure and you know anything that is related to to having too much sodium in your diet is through just inactivity and at the same time your body's inability to process that excess salt right so that is what happens so just be mindful that hey, your food doesn't have to be completely tasteless and bland and then your whole journey of trying to get fit right it's always messed up because you cannot follow through on your diet that is one of the reasons why a lot of people fail and you know i can safely say and you know it's it's just it's just very normal because singapore has very very good food so if you have a lot of good food but at the same time you are just working out you kind of don't see your your you don't see the results because the food is just literally either very oily very fatty and that's fine you know if you are working out so that you can eat that's also that's also cool you know but i think if you're looking for aesthetic gains you're looking to build muscle mass and drop your body fat then you have to make the better choices it's just the way it goes no pain no gain anyway guys that's the end of the vlog i'll see you in the next video have a great weekend